Hey boys and girls. So today we're going to look at module three, lesson 20. And I'm looking at a section from our problem set today because it is very similar to our homework. So in the first section, it has you fill in the blanks and I will do two of these to show you how to do them. The first one says one less than 120 is blank. So I'm trying to think of what number comes before 120 if I'm counting by ones. Uh, I know 19 comes before 20, so that means 119 must come before 120. And then I can try it out and make sure that works. One less than 120 is 119. Well, that would be true because 120 would be one more than 119, which means one less than 120 is 119. They can go forwards and backwards. All right, blank more than 598 is 608. So this one is a little bit harder because if you look at all of the place values, you'll see that there's actually two that are different. I see that my ones place, they're both an eight. But when I look at the tens place, I have zero tens and nine tens. And when I look at my hundreds place, I have six hundreds and five hundreds. Well, since two of my place values are different, I must have added or subtracted enough to make a new bundle. All right, so I'm gonna have to look at this differently than how I looked at it yesterday. I'm gonna think about it as tens. So I know that in 608, there are 60 tens. And in 598, there are 59 tens. So I know that there's one extra 10 in this number compared to this number. So this would be 10 more than 598 is 608 because 60 tens is one more 10 than 59 tens. I know these ones are a little bit confusing, but as long as you um, box your numbers, you'll be able to see the difference a little bit easier. Let's actually look at one more. So we wanna compare 839 to 840. So, I look at it and I see that my hundreds place is the same, but that my tens and ones are both different. So I wanna look at this differently. So I'm gonna to box together what's different. 39 ones and 40 ones. Well, I know that 40 is one more than 39. So I could say one more then 839 would be 840. All right, for the next section, it says to whisper the numbers as you count. So for this one, it starts out with counting by ones. From 106 to 115, so I would say 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115. All right, and let's go down to this bottom one. And I'm gonna write this one out so you can see what I mean. Skip count by hundreds from 805 to five. So we're actually gonna go backwards. So I would start at 805 and I'm going backwards by hundreds. So this would be 705, 605, 505, 405, 305, 205, 105, and finally just 5. And if it helps you to write them out, you definitely can. You don't have to only say them out loud. The last section is a word problem. Jenny loves jumping rope. Each time she jumps, she skip counts by 10. She starts her first jump at 77, her favorite number. 
how many times does Jenny have to jump to get to 147? All right, well, I know that she starts at 77. And each of her jumps, she actually skip counts by 10. So she starts at 77, her first jump. So this is her first jump. So her second jump, she's gonna skip count by 10, so she'd be at 87. Her third jump, she skips count by 10, so add another 10, she'd be at 97. Her fourth jump, ooh, and this one gets a little confusing because we've at 97, but now I need to add another 10, which would give us 10 tens. So if you think about it, I have seven tens, eight tens, nine tens. Now I have 10 tens, which is the same thing as one hundred, and I still have seven ones. All right, now she does another jump, her fifth jump, and I'm adding another 10. So we have 100, 110, seven ones. Let's do another jump. It says we wanna to get to 147. So on her sixth jump, I have 100, two tens, seven ones. Her seventh jump is 100, three tens, seven ones. And her eighth jump, 100, four tens, seven ones. So it says, how many times does Jenny have to jump to get to 147? She has to jump eight, because we got to eight times. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.